Hey everyone, it's Sly here. I am doing a video today of a product review for Allocay Naturals. I discovered it um, through a, a YouTube user, Black Onyx. Now, I make a lot of my own products. And a number of my sort of hair sprays and moisturizers are homemade, but I still haven't found the best uh, homemade shampoo or conditioners and things like that. Um, I have been a loyal user of Nature's Gate shampoo and conditioner since I've gone natural. But I thought maybe I should try something that was uh, like more organic, as well as uh, try it from a smaller vendor. So I bought her products, uh, and today is my wash day. I wet my hair, and then I rinse it with apple cider vinegar. Then I shampoo it, which I put a regular conditioner in it. After that, I put a detangling conditioner in, and I put the um, the deep conditioner in and I just put my hair in like big twists like six or seven big twists and I let that sit in my hair for an hour or two then I rinse that out and then I twist my hair up and I keep those twists in for the whole week so I'm gonna try doing that with her products what I did buy was her moisturizing black soap which um, and doesn't really smell like too much. This lip leave-in conditioner, now this smells amazing, it's lemongrass. Um, it is a honey and sage deep conditioner treatment. Oh my god, and that smells amazing too. And then there's the Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer, um, which I've already used. When I have my twist, I put some of the Shea Butter in it, and I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, my hair felt crunchy, and I know shea butter is moisturizing, but it seems like it kind of stripped it of its moisture. But I was watching her video, and she puts it on like kind of a very specific way, and I didn't follow that way. So I'm going to try that this time. I also bought her bentonite clay. I've never used this before in my entire life. I'm going to try it at some point as well actually on a number of these products it has like secret ingredients and secret blends and that does make me a little nervous I would like to know what I was using in my hair um, but she doesn't list it so I have wet my hair and I've put um, apple cider vinegar in it I've rinsed it with that so next I am going to put the shampoo in it and we will see what happens. So I'm on to my uh, deep conditioning part um, and I will just show you what I do. I just do big chunky twist. So I take a section, I get some conditioner. Um, I am using the Allocate deep conditioner. And I'm just putting the conditioner in my uh, through my hair. Now, as I've been using the Allocate products, I find myself constantly comparing to uh, the other products. I'm like, oh, but when I put the other conditioner in, it feels like this, or the shampoo isn't like that. And I have to keep reminding myself, well, it's because it's a different product, product, and you know, you have to try things a number of times or for a while to really see how it's going to work. My initial reactions is that my hair feels lighter, which I like that. Um, it smells good. And it also seems to be doing 
as equal of a job as far as like it feels clean, feels like it's detangled, my hair is soft. I mean, it doesn't feel noticeably different. Like my hair doesn't feel cleaner or softer or anything like that. Um, I have rinsed the deep conditioner out of my hair and to be honest, I wasn't quite sure if it would turn out right. So I mixed the Allocate deep conditioner with one of my other deep conditioners as well. Um, I've kept it in for about an hour. Usually I keep it in an hour to... Um, now I'm going to put in her leave-in conditioner. Normally I put in my spray that I have. It's a concoction of leave-in conditioner and all type of stuff. And I may even mix this into my concoction. This smells really good, by the way. This isn't as watery as I thought it was going to be, which is good. Oh my goodness, you just don't understand how great this smells. I'm going to put the Shea yogurt in, and that's what I'm really hesitant about. Ugh, but I'm going to do it anyway. We'll see what happens. So she said to rub it on your hand until it sort of turns into a cream or I don't know. I'm rubbing it, letting it melt. I really don't like the smell. Then she rubbed it into her hair like this from root to tip. Okay. It does feel smooth. Still don't like the smell. Mmm, they're shiny. Okay. Then she took some more and put it right on the ends. This is the part that we'll see what happens. Alright. So then I'm just gonna divide it and I'm doing chunky twist. And I'm going to put bobby pins in, which I'll repin it in the morning. And I'll show you that as well if I wake up in time. Um, I just twist it. And just for overnight, I'm just going to bobby pin it any kind of way. And that's what I'm going to do. Alright, I will show you when I am done. I'm down to my last two twists that I'm doing. I'm putting it in the way she does on her site. The hard part is the smell. You know, if I can't get used to the smell, it's just not going to work. I wish there was like cocoa butter type, because I love the scent of cocoa butter. We'll see in the morning if it's effective. Like. I don't know if you could tell if my hair is moisturized or not.